so have a guess what we're going to be doing today yep you've got it we're doing ball balls okay so you you're used to probably seeing the black inserts that we've been doing over the last couple of years which uh, look fabulous in the ball balls but we have just launched some white ones now which I think look equally impressive inside the bauble especially with a dark background so they're exactly the same in that they've been printed out onto clear acetate which you just simply cut around the edge remembering to keep the tab so that when we roll it up we've got something to position it you can colour them, you can use some uh, alcohol inks, uh, liquid pearls, glitter, um, you know, what, whatever you've got there at home. Um, or just simply keep it nice and simple, plain with a nice coloured background. So we've got some nice feathers here and some black glitter, which will really make the white stand out. So I'm just going to pop that to the side. And as you can see, we've got different sizes as we have with the black. So we've got the eight centimeter, we've got the 10 centimeter, and we've got the very large 15 centimeter. I've already cut some out here. Don't they look great against that background? They just really pop out. And we've got some new metallic pens here as well. This is Pen Touch. Um, I'm really quite impressed with these metallics. They're a really good solid uh, metallic paint. So I'm going to just show you just quickly. Seeing as these are new on the website, I'm just going to just show you what the colours are like. Obviously give them a bit of a shake first. Um, make sure that you've got a flow to it. So you need to obviously press it down a few times just to get the flow to come through to the nib. And that's I think that's really impressive. It's a really nice block colour there. Um, and we've got silver. We've got the copper. Then we've got the white. It's great for doing snow. And look how solid that white is on that black. So let's put a little bit of the metallic, we'll use the copper, and we'll just do a few little dots. You know what it's like when you've got something new, you've got to have a play. So such a gorgeous colour this is. Now I hope you can see that lovely metallic. I'm not sure that you can under this light, but it looks fab. We can also use the uh, glitter and we could use our glue pen. So let's put a few sparkles in as well. Let's just get the glue going. So I just pop a little bit of the glue and then just sprinkle a little of that over the top and this holographic glitter is fabulous sparkle on that just 
biscuits everywhere. Never mind. And you can see how that's stuck. I'm going to decorate this one as well while I'm here. This is the other bauble I'm going to do. So again, I'm just going to use a little bit of the glue. And then just sprinkle a little bit of that over the top. How lovely is that? Okay, and then let's take our baubles. So we've got the large one here. So something you need to be careful of are these sharp prongs that come out. So just be careful of that. I mean, these are great to do with the kids or the grandchildren, but just be mindful of the lid with those sharp spikes there that go in the top. Let's take our acetate. We're going to just roll that up. And then simply pop that in the top there and out it opens. And you can see how effective that is. Pull the tab to the side, this is why we need the tab on, it just makes life a lot easier. And then we're just going to fill that, now we've got some nice red, sort of raspberry red feathers, a bit Christmassy, and we're going to pop those inside. And you can fill it as much as you want. And of course you don't have to use feathers, you can use whatever you've got. It's just that I've picked a slightly darker colour, just so that the, the white really stands out. I hope you can see that under the camera and the light's not catching the, the plastic too much. Okay, so I'm happy with that now, so all I'm going to do is just trim that plastic tab down, just so it's level with the top, so I can get the lid back on. So very carefully put the prongs in, and then just pop that on top, like so. And there we have our lovely bubble. Now I've got some wire sort of twine here which I think is quite nice. I'm going to thread that through, just makes a change from ribbon, it's a little bit more rustic, a bit more natural. And I'm just going to twist that up nice and easy and then just making that hook on the end here I can just hang it there we go that's our first one anyway so I just pop that to the side and then we've got our other one here that I've got a little bit of black tinsel and I'm just going to cut a few pieces off And then taking the bauble, again, just be careful of those prongs that come out. Taking the insert and rolling that up. Look a bit tighter. Pop it in. And out it opens. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that to the side now and then pop the t 
pencil in. And that holographic against that black really does stand out. Okay. So again, I'm just going to trim that tab level with the top of the bauble. And then simply pop the top back on. So just bring the little spikes back in and then it will just clip on top. And you can see how that really does stand out. And with a few twinkly lights behind it looks so, so effective. Okay, and we've got our wire twine here. So again, I'm just going to thread that through. And then just make a hook at the top there so I can hang it. And of course you can get loads of those little sort of berries with wires on and you can decorate it to your heart's content. You can even decorate the outside of the ball bowl. So there's so much we can do. Um, but have a go, guys. Um, I mean, I've seen some amazing ball balls that you guys have done. Um, but I haven't, with us only launching the white, I've not seen any of the white yet. So it'd be great to see what you can do with it. Well, thanks so, so much for joining me, guys. And um, I hope you enjoy the demonstration. Something a little bit different, a little bit more Christmassy. Bye for now.